It is Wednesday, August 30th, 4.10 p.m., meeting of the uh, Board of Assessors. We call the meeting to order. And uh, can I get a motion to open? I'll make a motion to open. And I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Um, Kelly, I'm going to turn it right over to you to start up with our open. Uh, actually, I'll, we do have minutes to approve. Yeah. Um, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. We're going to. We have a motion to approve the uh, minutes for the meeting of August second, two thousand twenty-three. I will second the motion. All in favor? Aye. So moved. Um, Kelly, I'll hand over the open session uh, agenda to you. Okay. Thank you. So everyone's aware we have um, Matt Bolts is not with us this evening. Um, an open session just to uh, remind the assessors and the community that we're getting close to uh, the tax time for new growth and certification of value for the actual tax bills in January. This usually happens in the fall. Um, the process has started it's, uh, right at its beginning, so I don't have a lot of information. But again, just like to reiter reiterate the um, new growth projected for the FY24 budget will be met um, as far as I can see without any issue. We had five betterment privilege fee assessments, brand new assessments sent out, oh, I'm sorry, six, uh, with a, a bill date of August 14th, 2023. Um, the taxpayer was given a letter that they can opt for a full payment, net 30 days with no interest, or opt to a portion five, 10, 15, or 20 years. They have to make this decision by September 14th, these six accounts. Uh, if they do not, then statutorily, it is the decision of the Board of Assessors how uh, it's going to be apportioned. And it will be addressed after September 14th. Uh, fall Town Meeting has been scheduled for November 6, 2023. Uh, the Board of Selectmen will close the warrant with any potential articles, from what I understand, in mid-September. Um, I'm not sure if the nature of this fall town meeting is for housekeeping or expenditures. I will find out more, but currently uh, from the assessor's perspective, I don't foresee that we will have a contribution to that warrant. And uh, the next meeting date we're looking to uh, schedule possibly for the first Wednesday of October. Is that an issue for everybody? October 4th. Well, yeah. October 4th at 4 o'clock. Yes, sir. 4 p.m. With that, uh, we have executive session uh, matters to discuss and then reconvene an open session to accept all the uh, applications that will be reviewed. Okay, we need a motion to go into executive session and then to reconvene an open session afterwards. I will make that motion. I will second the motion. All in favor. Our executive session. Okay, we have. Uh, Concluded our executive session stuff. I need a motion to reconvene. I'll make that motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. So move. We are back in open session to uh, take up our executive session vote. Okay, I'm just going to go down uh, with the vote to accept FY 2024 personal exemptions, Clause 41C5, Clause 17D5, Clause 22A5, Clause 22 Capital E5, Clause 37A4. Clause 22, capital D1. And with new applicants to um, Clause 41C, there were three. And then the review and acceptance of FY25, Chapter 61A, 61B applications, uh, 61A3 and 61B3. So as discussed in executive session, we approved all of these exemptions. I just need a I think the motion is Motion to accept and second. All in favor? Aye. So moved. I believe that um, convenes or wraps up our regular business. And we will have another meeting on October 4th at 4 p.m. So I'll look for a motion to close. I'll make that motion to close. And second. All in favor? Aye. So moved. Thank you very much, ladies. We are adjourned. <laughs>